Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, uh, happy, what is this shit, Thursday, happy Thursday. Oh, I just taped a whole video about Eldris daughter and him filming together, and it did not load up, guys. What's up with that? Ah, must one meant for me to talk about, okay, because that casting couch and his daughter in Hollywood don't mesh. So, that's my, uh, that's what I was going with to try to explain the uh, details, but it wasn't. It must wasn't meant for me to talk about. Okay, but we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on, honey. We're gonna go to the Bravo family. Y'all know Cynthia. Y'all know Cynthia Bailey. Well, Cynthia Bailey Hill, I guess you would call her. We ain't gonna forget about that she got married. We ain't gonna dog her out like that. Yes, she says she's happily married. We believe it. But we don't believe it. It really just don't matter. Right? Right. Okay. But I wanted to come on and talk about. I didn't know Cynthia. Um, mom had cancer. Did y'all know that? Was I just. I don't know in my own world. My own bubble. And it just went past me. With child. Honey buns. Honey dudes. Child. She had cancer. But it seems like she overcome. She has overcome that cancer. But let's get into it. It comes from Bravo TV, of course, The Daily Dish. Uh, Michelle Regato wrote it up for us. She titled it, Cynthia Bailey Shares on Update on Mom's Barbara's Health. Okay, I didn't even know nothing was going on with Barbara. I know she didn't like Peter. <laughs> Can't really say if she liked it. You know, Mike Hill at this time, I don't know. Shit. She just wanted Cynthia to be happy, but she didn't want her to be dumb about it. You know, I understand. Something like what Mama Joyce is talking about over there when it comes to Todd and Candy. All right. Y'all see my little Winnie the Pooh shirt? Yes, I'm already in my nightgown. I just have to take the makeup off my face. A uh, little powder I have on. Yeah. I just, you know, I didn't feel like it at the time. I just wanted to get into something comfortable, you know? So I did. Me. Y'all like my earrings? They paparazzi. I don't know if y'all can really see them. I don't know if y'all really can. But anyway, they're cute. All right. So um, I was feeling myself again. I was feeling myself. <laughs> Sometimes you have to feel your own self. You ain't got nobody. You don't need nobody to tell you you're cute. You got it going on. You do it yourself, honey. Do it yourself. But anyway, it says um, Cynthia Bailey shares an update on Mom Barbara's health. Okay. Cynthia Bailey is offering an update on her mom, Barbara Ford Morris, the real Housewives of Atlanta alum, took to Instagram to open up about her mother, uh, how her mother is doing following a recent health scare. On August 12th, Cynthia revealed that her family had just received some positive news regarding Barbara's health. She shared several glowing photos taken with her mom and her sister, capturing it, the power of family and prayer. I'm telling you, family prayer beautiful thing beautiful thing keep them simultaneously keep them all up full of fat make sure you thank the lord for every day you wake up because hey you could be pushing up daisies all right but anyway cynthia went on to explain just recently my beautiful mom barbara fort morris was diagnosed with breast cancer she didn't feel anything but it showed up on her most recent mammogram we took her to her first doctor's appointment yesterday to confirm what stage her treatment option and her treatment options were available by the grace of god we called it early it is only stage one with surgery to remove the cancer and radiation she is going to be fine Excellent, excellent. Woohoo! 
Well, thank you for telling us, Cynthia, because you're not really in the media as much. And when I do see you, girlfriend, high five, you're doing the darn thing. You, you, you're living your life. You're looking like you're happy. You're stepping out your comfort zone, getting into the acting field. Beautiful. I'm still following you. I might not have you know, really did a story on you recently, but you have been in my thoughts. Because I'm like, okay, every time I see Cynthia, Cynthia doing something nice. You know what I'm saying? She ain't doing that foolish in them streets like Nene Lee's, okay? And want to do this, that, and the third, bring folks down. When she was, okay, we don't talk about Nene. We talking about Cynthia, okay? Draw me back, people. Draw me back. Draw me back. Okay. Let's go back to the article. It says Cynthia revealed why she ultimately decided to share the diagnosis writing. Initially, I only shared this information with close friends. <laughs> oh, I'm right then, girl. Close friends. Who are your close friends? You talking about, girl? Who? Fine. Who? Okay. My, um, you could tell us. We won't tell nobody, all right? Because right now we're trying to think, who are your friends? <laughs> You know, because you never really showed them to us. It was Mallory. And it's okay to have your sister as your best friend or your friend, your ace boot cool. That's cool. But, Cynthia, we didn't really see you have any friends since really the induction of you being on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Were you just keeping your friends close but not that close to put them on camera because you didn't want to impede on their privacy? Was that it, girl? Tell us. Tell us because I'm still trying to figure out. On the friend, you made a friendship contract with Whitney and Elise. I'm just saying. I, I don't know. What friends are you talking about, baby? But anyway, moving on. Uh, it says, uh, let me see. Hmm. Okay, cl close friends and family, but after getting the great news yesterday that my mom is going to be okay, I felt inclined to share it with all of you. Thank you for all the love, all the prayers, and all the well wishes. All right, yeah, I'm telling you, that's right, honey. That's right. Um... Okay, that was it. Okay, it so, says uh, she concluded by adding, ladies, please make sure um, you get your mammograms yearly. Early detection is key. Cynthia has also shared several photos of Barbara smiling and receiving the uplifting news. Uh, if she is good, I'm good, she captioned the photo. Happy to see my mom smiling again. Hmm, okay, I wonder how old her mom is because she still look good, honey. You know they say black don't crack, okay? Yes, all right, but we do get to looking tired sometimes, tired and through because folks getting on our nerves and we don't know how to separate the two and how to just, you know, be away from negative energy and try to stay positive, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to live your life like every day is your last. That's what I've always told and that's what I do feel and I hold very dearly, okay? But it says, uh, going back to the article, it says Cynthia family members also took to the comments to voice their support for Barbara. Her husband, Mike Hill, who previously dubbed Barbara his marriage mom, wrote, Love you, mama, while Cynthia's daughter, uh, Noelle Robinson, chimed in with a series of heart emojis. Here, Cynthia opened up about her life at the Real Housewives of Atlanta, whether she'll ever return to the Real House franchise in this clip. Okay, do we really want to listen to the clip? Yeah, it's, it seems like it's going to be boring. But okay, since we're here, we, we're we talking amongst ourselves. We family. We cool. We good. I guess we can listen to a little snippet of it, which I like. We, we, we'll listen to a little snippet. Let's see. You better come on because my nerves is bad. I'm trying to move on to another story. Okay. Why can't I hear it? Boy, gee. Is the noise up? That's what I'm saying. Started buying just for economic omelet rounds and Good knowing money. they're at home keeps me from making those expensive Advertisement, purchases. first of all, you know. Great. new episode streaming on all all blk every all black, all black. Yes. oh okay all, all black. black okay Terrell all black every thursday Terrell drive on all black yes new episodes every thursday yes. and uh um, see she getting it in i'm so proud of it didn't okay. die <laughs> so i should could be coming back for season three okay <laughs> All black, it's spelled all black, A L B L K, or something uh, like that. Jeff show Hollywood House Lift with Jeff Lewis. Uh, the season finale is this Friday. Yeah. 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 Three V. You can uh, hear Jane Shane on Jeff Lewis Live. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, this uh, this, yeah. this Mujan really hit me. 
You can also find an Amazon Prime as well. You just search oh, it. Oh, great. Yeah, Prime. Okay, great. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Good. Oh, excellent. Well, that's great. Yeah, yeah, just to let you know. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, Jeff, Orson T wants to know if you talked to Leah Black about the return of Miami and what does she think of it? Uh, well, first of all, I personally love I know uh, she's Real a... Housewives of Miami. Oh, and I keep in... Lord, I don't want to hear all this more, stuff. But she says, what does she call them? Dirty... What does she call them? Skanks and trash. Skanks, trash, dirty G-strings. <laughs> like, she, you know, she doesn't like all the other girls, but she loves Lisa, but she doesn't love all the other girls. But I keep encouraging her to go back. But I, I love that show. I think it's a great show. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go back to our virtual audience. Kate and Brittany from Tennessee have a question for Cynthia. <laughs> Hey, Jeff. Hey, Andy. First of all, we want to congratulate Andy on welcoming baby Lucy into the family. Yay. She's adorable. This is Such a about baby. Andy, we're time to get to Cynthia. Cynthia, did you snag an invite to Teresa's upcoming wedding? And were you surprised that Ramona posted a photo of the invite on social media? That was amazing. <laughs> oh, is that a question for me? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, yes, Cynthia. I am invited to Teresa's wedding. Uh, we really connected on the girls' trip, and I love her. I'm so happy for her. And was I surprised that Ramona accidentally leaked it or whatever? No. Not really. <laughs> it wasn't was malicious. It. No, it no. Was I don't, an I don't accident. Feel like, yeah, I feel like it was an accident, but no, yeah, I'm not surprised. Yes. All right, here's Jody from my hometown of St. Louis with a question for Jeff. Hey, Jody. Hi, Andy. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Hi, Jeff. I absolutely love you, Jeff. And shout out, Shane. Shout out, Jeff. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, which ex-wife do you think is the thirstiest to return to their show? Vicky, Dorinda, or Jill? Dorinda. Oh, God. Vicky, Dorinda, like, okay, or you have Jill. to understand I'm friends with all of them. Yes. I think Jill would really like to be back. <laughs> <laughs> What did you think of the Jill Tamra thing? <laughs> kind of amazing. Oh, yes, I know. I, I defended Jill because there was a lot of reports that this was happening, that Tamra was coming back, and then she announced it. And I know, but she kind of confirmed it. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. But I just feel like we all knew about yeah. it. We all heard about it. You know, Jill talked about it, and Tamra was very, you know, angry about it. And I actually even spoke to Tamra about it. But, um, yes, I, I actually, I, I don't blame Jill. I really don't. Yeah. We all heard about it, right? You heard about it, Cynthia. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. definitely heard it circulating. So I did. She no, did. I, I loved Jill. I just... And Jill would love to come back. Yes. She we would. Well, you know what? <laughs> but Andy, I, as a matter of fact, I remember great... a time where Jill made you call me and be like, Yes, I was getting ready to call, I was getting ready to ask you. Call and petition yes, for Jill I, I have been to She's a great housewife. Yes. I know. She's she a is. great housewife. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. Are you friends with Jill? I'm very good friends with Jill. I love her. She's a really kind yes. person. I, you don't have yes. to sell I was me on Jill. Jill's apartment. Yeah. Oh, you were? Yeah. Yes. You were what? Staying at Jill's apartment. Over the apartment. weekend, I was in. I was staying at Jill's apartment. Really? Yeah. Oh, so I like beautiful. Beautiful. So oh, yeah. Cynthia has crossed over. Apartment. I mean, I've seen Her pictures. Friends oh. are more <laughs> wow. European. Wow. She sent me a floor plan, mm, and she said, okay, "Can you do the furniture?" And I'm like, bup, 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 bup. "Here, get where the money is, honey. Like, huh? Get where the money is. Means well. Get where the gossip is. I love her. Get where the she gossip really is. She's is. a nice person. I really do. Oh, yeah. shoot, this is just too much. Oh, this is all okay, this crap. Okay, there's no argument going on. Right, and you should bring her I feel like it's an argument. I do too, but there's not. But isn't she going to be on like room for some me other to come show back, right? that you guys have going on? I want you to bring on Kelly Dodd back. Sure, it's going to be a, a laughing joke. It's going to be a laughing joke for a while. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> um, anything else you want to get off your chest, Cynthia, or Jeff, <laughs> before we wrap this thing up? God, well, wow. I just... Uh, off my chest. Let's see. Well, I mean, I just... Would just like You're to not going to go back. You won't go back, right? Because you have an acting career now. I do See, have that's an what I'm talking about. And I'm but would you go back? An acting career. Actors get paid yeah, much more money never. than reality stars. Go, honey. Go, Cynthia. She's fine. I don't know how I will feel in the next two years, but I'm honestly. But right now, she's on a good track. I'm so focused on my acting career. I love that you're in the last two years. Like, I'm good. Yeah, we don't want Cynthia back. We don't want Cynthia back on Housewives. No. 
Cynthia was Cynthia before she ever came on Atlanta, and yes. she will be Cynthia but after Cynthia was Atlanta. a model. And it's so, true. And yes. that's, <laughs> that's, that. that's it for the ratchet people. That's why I want Panda to get on off that show, too. It continues to be, a, be you know, a few more years, and she needs to get off the show and do much more. Much more. Do you? Come on. I don't know. We're so f- it's a, are you it's a work me? in progress. What did, I, what did I say before the show? I said you've given me two careers, and because yes. of that, I love yes. you and I'm grateful for exactly. you. Exactly. No, so are. don't don't say yes. that I don't. No, I know. No. I'm being playful. Absolutely. I'm being playful. Okay, but yes, yes, no, you do live in gratitude. Right. Yes, I do, yes. and I I kill for you. Yes, we're. Exactly. I, I, this man's a hell kill for Andy. He's and, and we had such a beautiful crazy. conversation. You know, when we were talking about like, you know, I called you and I was like, you know, I think this is kind of just where I'm at, and. You know, your support at that time, you honestly were like, I just want you to be happy. Like, it's been 11 years. Yes. Like, at this point. It's a big, that's that's a long like, yeah. run. Yeah. That is long unusual. Consistent. Un- consistent. I was 11, 11 years, years before you fired me. Yeah, I never got a phone call from you guys saying, hey, we, you need to step it up. 12 years. Do this. Right. Like, yeah. it was a good, I didn't fire long, you. I was not in the people that voted against me. Sweetie, <laughs> I was not in charge of programming. I was six people at the time voted against me. But whatever, it doesn't matter. No. Oh, my God. Because you gave me the radio. Whether I would I don't care what radio you gave me. I said I I don't care. I don't care. I thought. <laughs> it was time for flipping out and you gave me I radio did. and i and so we're and i good. love it so Here much are. You're and i'm so grateful <laughs> i don't care you're the biggest uh, hit on radio <laughs> andy so i know you go. Hey. Okay. All right. I feel like I'm in right. And I, I love you for it. Freaking baby. Okay. This is it doesn't like... matter. All right. Uh, we're going to wrap this thing up. I want to thank Shane. I want to thank Jeff. I want to thank Cynthia. Boo, everybody. For more, click around bravotv.com. Good to see you. Come back. Good to see you. Oh, oh well then. I thought they were going to say something about her mom, at least in this article they had said. And maybe they cut it out. But y'all, y'all would be very happy for Cynthia. Y'all would say keep prayers up for her. She's definitely, I never saw her as an actress. I always uh, said she was fashion and face. She always had those two things snatched. But child, I am so glad that she is, you know, accepting that role of acting, you know, Letting us see another side of her. See, that's what I'm saying. When you get uh, to the age you're seasoned, it's time to step it up or step it out, however you see it. And with Cynthia really being demoted, in a sense, and nobody really wanted her on the show anymore, she blossomed. She starts. She started to flourish into something else. So, see, sometimes somebody that just, because you ain't going to go, you, you're not going to go from whatever you're doing because you don't got complacent, you don't got uh, stabilized, you don't got uh, lazy, and you just don't want to make those difficult decisions when you know you've trailed and, and you've uh, been in a situation for so long, you just get, you know, uh, comfortable. And your comfort zone is there. That's what you know. You don't want to experience everything else that's out there because of fear is one and you want to stay in the realm of money that you're making see that's what i see about candy uh she just want to stay there and you know hopefully i'm i'm hoping that she is making some moves behind closed doors and she's definitely uh how you call it uh solidifying deals to where she can get off this ratchet show because I'm telling you, that's all it is. You know, Beverly Hills is not showing that way. Hell, Dallas, they had got rid of them. Now they're bringing it back. And the women on Platonic, they don't really do all of that like the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You know, we should be seeing, you know, the business moves, what King is doing, how she got started. You know, her p- putting out, you know, um, what do you call it, classes or something to take to get into the music industry as, you know, a video you know, we ain't going to say, oh, well, you know, that's what it really was at the time. Uh, a group, as you would want to call them. Candy, you know, tell us how she gets, uh, you know, um, her acting jobs or where does she go. You know, stuff like that. Show us something about what you're doing every day to make that money and considering yourself a boss versus, you know, calling somebody a hoe, calling somebody a bitch, calling somebody out for some things we didn't even know about, but they trying to throw it on the forefront. And it just gets too tiring after a while. I mean, it's good when you really want to take a, a break from your real life and to see people cut up. But that's not something we really want to say, ooh, I want to be one day. You see what I'm saying? But I'm so proud of Cynthia. I am, I am, I am. I'm one of her biggest supporters, you know. And just as long as she just keeps it real and she keeps it 
uh, fun for her because she's at the age, what, 54, 55? You know, we need to be cruising on into, uh, what do you call it, retirement and then start doing some things we didn't get a chance to do when we were in that hustling, bustling world when we was in our 20s, 30s, 40s, you know, and slowing down in our 50s trying to, you know, pick another dream, pick another um, resource of making income, but yet living your life. You see what I'm saying? Because so, you you got to stop working at some point because when are you going to sit down and say, hmm, I did enough. You know what I'm saying? It just be enough. You start, you know, being there for your grandkids, being there for your, you know, your kids, seeing what they're doing. See, you know, just taking time out for yourself. How they call it? To smell the roses. You see what I'm saying? And not just seeing them and uh, knowing what they are. See, it's a big difference. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Hopefully you liked it, love it, and you got to have more. Remember to subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And it doesn't cost you anything. So subscribe and like my videos that get me out to the masses, okay? And if you want to really do something, you can go on and share me out on your platform. But definitely get down in those comments because y'all know I love it when y'all you know, interact with one another maturely. No fighting and bickering down there. Just everybody stating their opinions and not trying to take somebody else's opinions away. Because we all have, you know, buttholes. So we all going to have opinions, right? Right. So I'll see y'all next video. Y'all take care of yourselves, okay? Remember, uh, you're, <coughs> excuse me, you're blessed, you're loved, and you're cared for. At least by me.